Hey guys, what's going on? Today I got a video for you going over one of the highest win rate decks I have going on right now. It's getting lots of victories at high level infinite as well as gold and infinite conquest. Uh, it's targeting the Galactus and Miss Marvel interaction as well as just taking advantage of lane lockdown with Professor X and Elioth. So this is Marvel at Galactus. Let's get into it. Uh, there are many ways to win with this deck, and your course to victory and cubes is not only reliant on Galactus in this deck, well, although that is one of the primary ways. You can lock down a lane, and then Elioth and death. You can also use Miss Marvel to trigger your Galactus in a lane and get an extra 5 power to his initial on reveal, as well as just locking down a Miss Marvel lane that has Professor X and maybe Nebula or one of your other smaller minions. This deck has a ton of must includes. Uh, you can't really play this deck with obviously without Galactus. When you're playing Galactus, Eliath is key. And because we're using Miss Marvel and Professor X interactions, we want to make sure we have both of them in their deck. And Death is also in this must include tier because she provides value from Killmonger uh, cost reduction as well as just giving you initiative in your Galactus lane to win with Elioth on the last turn. And Shang-Chi is also pretty important to this deck as he is an alternative to Elioth that can help you win a lane by clearing out any large power that got out there before turn six. And honestly, he has become a bit more surprising to players these days, so you will see him take advantage where you used to not. The only reason I don't have Wave and Psylocke in the must include category of this deck is the fact that you could replace them with other options and kind of just play a slow play game and if you get Galactus off you get Galactus off but you're then playing a more Miss Marvel Professor X style of deck. I've included Daredevil in this deck as a he is a very powerful control card still. He can really win you a lane almost every time with Professor X in hand slash Miss Marvel. And he really sets up well for your potential turn six Galactus or, or, or turn five in some cases, depending on your card draw and can set up your Elioth or Shang-Chi. And the good thing about this deck is it can easily confuse people because there are aspects and elements that are just parts of many decks out in the meta right now. So you can make up your opponent stumble over their own thoughts. For example, you can Psylocke on turn three and that way you can get a Professor X off earlier if you already have a Nebula down or a Daredevil. You can also wave on turn three and some people assume you're going into Galactus, you can use that as an advantage to play a Professor X, or you can even do it if you have no kills off to get off of a four cost death, which is extremely valuable in this deck and extremely surprising to your opponents. And with that quick overview of the deck slash archetype, let's dive into some gameplay, show you guys what's going on and these interactions I was talking about and just steal cubes from people and win games. And first up here, we got Second Diarrhea. Uh, limbo first location is not terrible for us in this deck. Uh, drawing a Daredevil on turn two is usually going to be a Daredevil play every single time. But in this case, with the Sinister London and Psylocke in hand and a, a few potential five drops, I'm going to swing and do that. And unfortunately, we didn't get what we were looking for in our draw, but we do have five mana here and quite an interesting hand. So I think we're probably gonna, we're gonna go the forge and wave route here. This is gonna get us a lot of power on the board pretty quickly here. And if there's an off chance that we draw Professor X here, and we do draw Professor X here, we're just going to be able to lock down this guy from playing the game pretty much, I would say, with uh, us having priority here. You shouldn't have any really big plays here, being the bounce deck. And 
Black Widow, five cost in the right lane isn't gonna be enough. You shouldn't be able to, to do anything to sway us and lose. I think the only thing we have a chance of losing to is Jeff here, and we don't have any great plays in our hands at this point, so I'm just gonna pass on turn five. And that really doesn't do anything concerning for us, and unless once again he has Jeff, and I'm just playing, assuming he doesn't have Jeff. He annihilates a hood over to us and locks us down from playing anything, but he still hasn't played Jeff, and I'd assume he would have at this point. So, oh, and that's it. That's a first victory right there, and that's seven cubes. Let's move on to the next match. Next up, we got AK the Great here. Uh, TVA first location is not great for us in a late game deck, uh, but we'll just go ahead and do the standard Daredevil play on turn two. Most value with Wave, we have opportunities to get some of our higher cost cards out before this game ends. And Widow's Bite is not terrible here just because this game is going to end fast, so she's not going to get the value she really needs out of it. And Rockside, kind of the same thing, unless he drew Darkhawk, which he does not. Oh, and Miss Marvel sneaks out as a win right there. And that is another victory. And six more cube. And next up we got Donus 88. Uh, Collapse Mine is not great for us, but with Death in Hand, it is extremely good for us. Shayna is not really terrible. Uh, Daredevil standard play on two. Uh, Nebula and Forge here, because I don't want to fill up location with Shayna yet. And Invisible Woman Zabu is a little scary, but nothing terrifying at this point. And we don't really have a great play here at this point, so I'm just going to Shayna and kind of see what we get. Great, that's uh, it's about par, I guess, for what Shayna can give you. Uh, he's gonna miss Marvel middle here, so I think we're just gonna counter and miss Marvel middle ourselves and save that kitty pride somewhere. And by throwing death down, I know I've won the middle lane at this point, so now it's truly just gonna come down to me being able to alive here with initiative on the last turn. Should be enough to win at this point, and he retreats, and that is a, another victory, and three more cubes. And next up, we got Snake here. Uh, Lamentus won right off the bat. Uh, that's really good for us, since we drew death as our last card. Uh, we're just gonna throw Nebula down, and hold on to this. Oh, and he doesn't want to play. That's another victory for us. Four more cubes. And next up, we have X-Men Forever. And everybody's favorite location, Jotunheim. I'm not going to play Forge here because not really anything I want to target at this point in my hand. Nico is always scary. Not really as much so on turn one, but we still got no good play here, so we're going to hold on to our Forge. And at this point, I'm just going to throw Forge down because I'm not going to get a better time to play him, and I'll just target Miss Marvel and give her a little power boost. Uh, Black Widow Korg, not great for us, but it does give Miss Marvel a target in the right lane for us easily. And we're going to have to play around this Werewolf by Night here. I think the best play is likely to just throw the Killmonger down and get rid of some of his one drops. And he goes with an Iron Lad into a Falcon, which doesn't really do anything. So he's going to win that lane. But I'm just going to go ahead and play Death on that lane and assume he's going to jump the Werewolf away and try to win something else here. And uh, it looks like I'm right. He's jumping the werewolf away, and that is going to be his downfall. That is a victory for us again. So that is six more cubes. Let's move on to the next match. And last up for today, we got Jet. 
And Nebula Daredevil is a great starting hand. We're going to throw both of those onto the left lane, and we are going to be in great shape going into the later turns in the game. It, he counters our Daredevil, not the end of the world. Uh, I like getting Psylocke down here, potentially drawing Professor X wins us a lane early. His Yondu takes out Wave, which is not terrible for us. Sakar pulling Shang is bad for us. Ooh, but him getting Spider-Man, he's now locked down that lane, so we should be able to win that easily now. Throw Miss Marvel middle, because that's how you win the video game. And he goes and locks down the right lane, which is very bad for us, but we still should be able to win this. Uh, my goal here is to keep initiative want to kill monger because that would destroy our nebula and we still kept initiative there we have Eliath. there's nothing he can do and he retreats another victory hey guys if you made it this far into the video i'm going to say thanks for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one